trailer that dropped not too long ago um so i mean what did you think about this trailer they better bring it out to pc or all right mm. i mean were you a fan of the first red dead redemption oh hell yeah man um in all honesty i never did beat it myself but i had a friend um uh my roommate actually um he beat the game and i just watched him play through the whole thing like i just enjoy watching it damn near like a movie like while we're talking about video game movies and um that was a great game, man. I played it online, of course. Um, one of the better parts, uh, having your friend just ride up with a donkey. It's like, ah, oh, you just got in the game, man. It's like, mm-hmm. um, if they can get that online world the same way they have Grand Theft Auto online, then that'll be like that'll last for years at a time the same way. Mm. Um, well, I'd say you know, I was a big fan of Red Dead Redem- Redemption. It's probably one of my top five favorite video games of all time, along with like Uncharted Two, Arkham City. Uh, Devil May Cry 3 um, and uh, Metroid. It's, it's, it's probably up there with my, maybe my top five favorite games of all time. Um, Agreed. So I, I love this. I love the, I love the Red Dead Redemption. Um, in this trailer, I think, first of all, I mean, because it's, you know, it's a next generation, uh, it's going to be on the next generation console, the PS4, before the other one was only on the PS3, this one looks, you know, gorgeous. It looks really stunning. And then I was watching a commentary for this as well, and they were saying that how this is from the PlayStation 4 engine. How, you know, so, so all this is pretty much in-game footage from the PlayStation 4. And, and that's the basic PlayStation 4. Like, the PS4 Pro might be even better. Yeah, I mean, they, and they, yeah, they weren't even saying that. This wasn't, I, I don't think they said it was the PlayStation 4 or the PlayStation 4, um, just the regular one. But they said, yeah, this one is the, is the playstation 4 and i mean it, it looks stunning it looks really gorgeous and um and you see the main character of this game is arthur morgan um and he's part of the uh von de Leer gang which is the same gang john marston was a part of um and a lot of people thought you were going to play john marston again and this would be a prequel to you know the red dead redemption it's still a prequel it's just you're not playing john marston i mean what do you think about that like what do you think about them not bringing back john marston and them bringing in a whole new character. Well, there's a whole new main character, but John Marston, uh, I want to say I'm fairly sure that he's going to be in the game. Like, if you look through the trailer, there's certain, like, shadowy figures, and they say, oh, well, they ha- he has his hat, or um, his wife is supposed to be the, the blonde chick that stabbed somebody in the hand, supposedly. But that's that's very far off. I don't think that is right, uh, going to be his wife. His wife in, the, in, the, in Red Dead Redemption, wasn't she a brunette? She was, she was a brunette, wasn't she? Yeah, and that's the thing. Like, it looks like her with the freckles, but it's like, did they really have a way to? Well, okay, you can bleach your hair and become blonde. So I don't know if they had dye back. Yeah, of course they had dye back then. What am I talking about? Mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, maybe she dyed her hair to go into hiding because they left the Von Diller gang. So maybe that's possible. I guess uh, that she did that. I would. I would imagine the opposite, just because I don't know if she would keep dyeing her hair while she's um, because they they had a secluded house, like she didn't have to keep dyeing her hair in um the original game, so I think she would have to dye her hair blonde in this one. Mm. Okay, that's a good point. Um, uh, so I mean, you see like a lot of like, you know, Western film homages in this, like you see like Unforgiven, uh, like the scene they have a shot of the horizon that's very remin- reminiscent of Unforgiven. You see like the scene where they're in the train how that's like very like assassination of Jesse James. Um, you see uh, snow in the game. And so, you know, Rockstar has never had an open world game where you've gone through snow before. So that's something very interesting. Um, they've, they've never done that before. Um, and you see characters, you see the, like them about to like attack this like a house or something going in the water. So does that mean like you possibly can now swim now that you can go in the water? Because before in Red Dead Redemption, once you went in the water, you were dead. That was it. You know what I mean? So, oh yeah, forget about that. Yeah. So I mean that that's probably exciting. That does that mean that you can you know, actually go in the water now? Um, you see how you know the hunting system. How he's using a bow and arrow. So that's all back now. You know the skinning of the animals. You know all that stuff. I mean. Did you do a lot of that stuff in Red Dead Redemption, like all the hunting and all that stuff like that? 
Um, just a little. Like I told you, my friend mainly beat it, and um, I I just was there for the online play. Mm, okay. Like I I would have played the story. It's a great story, but my friend was already like, "Man, you have this game. Let me play." It's like, fuck it, just play it for me. Like, I've had plenty of moments where um, like God of War three. Um, I bought that to play it on my friend's console. So I I do stuff like that all the time. Mm, okay. Um. You also see Arthur using two guns, so does that mean you can like dual wield in the game? Um, because you couldn't do that before in Red Dead Redemption, so maybe you can do it here. That's that'd be kind of cool if you could do that. But you, yeah, you ever know how like okay, characters will have two guns and something, and they'll fire both of them. Like that's impossible to do because it's like your eyes can your eye can only focus on one, you know, target at a time. So the whole firing two guns is really. Kind of just for, I guess, just for a cool effect, I guess. You know I mean, well, I mean? if you can, if you can handle the recoil, then of course you can shoot whatever. Yes, <laughs> your aim is gonna be what, I guess, fifty percent off, or like I don't know, like what the percentage would be, but it's, your aim is gonna be off. But as long as you can put your arm in the general area, then you can still shoot your target. Mm, I, I guess that's true. So yeah, I mean, I'd be excited for dual wielding the game. At the end of the trail, you see a Dutch, um, who's the leader of the Vondelier gang, and how he looks a little bit younger than he did before so um time period wise it's hard to guess like when this is because like during red Dead redemption it was kind of during the end of the west because you start to see it more like trains and automobiles and how people are transitioning into more modern civilization um so i don't know quite where to put timeline wise this game like you know you know it you know where it is set before I, I really don't know, um, but I I just can't wait. I just and I hope this game doesn't get fucking delayed. If Rockstar delays this fucking game, it's supposed to be spring 2018. I'm gonna fucking murder Rockstar because this game is supposed to come out. They have a set date. That's when it's supposed to be. Delay it for PC. You know, just get a PS4, man. Just get a PS4. PC Master Race. Hello, thanks for checking out our content. If you liked it, let us know. And if you didn't, let us know that as well. If you want to see more content, we post every Saturday on SoundCloud and YouTube at The Afternoon Tune. You can also find us through various social medias, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, all one word at The Afternoon Tune. And if you don't deal with any of that social media stuff, you can also find us through our email at TheAfternoonTune at gmail.com. And don't forget to always stay tuned.